Good morning. Today is going to be day one for competition at Sick Week. So we're getting started pretty early because we kind of have to put the trucks up. I actually came back to the hotel in my daily um, just because it was the easiest thing to do last night. Um, so in a little while we won't have access to the tow rigs because they're going to be put up in impound for a week and we're going to be just running along in the, in the race cars if you can call mine that probably not but keith and in the troll boat yes you can uh pretty excited for today i won't get started running until later uh just because of my classes so we're probably going to start out with the uh, keith and the trollvo so we'll get you some passes on that and uh i'll get you updated and uh let you know what's going on when we get to the track. I'm going to go get some breakfast. What are you doing, man? Trying to get my bump button to work. Well, if you do that stuff in there, it'll, yeah. it'll do it. I, I, I guarantee you. Oh my god, there's a dog between my legs. Hi, pup. <laughs> it didn't work when you tried it? I didn't get to see a test. No, it just sat there. Dang it. So I'm gonna try and mess with it some more. Yeah, I, I haven't messed with all that kind of stuff, so I'm glad you guys know what you're doing. Where's your bump? Huh? Where's your bump? Right here. Oh, okay, cool. Let's turn the AC switches for my uh, trans brake activate. Oh, nice. The trans brake's here. Oh, okay. And bump's here. That's, that's clever, using that. And then when that's off, that's, that's scramble. Oh, nice. Okay. That's party button. So you have to do two to, to make it scramble? To make it, yeah. Okay. Hit the one and then the other? Yeah. That way you know so you're that doing That way you it. don't hit the bump button when you're going down the street. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can hear me over the announcer. He's crazy loud. But, uh... Driver's meeting done. Keith's in the lanes. They're going to run their classes first. Uh, I think we're pretty good to go. Uh, it's going to be a couple hours till I run, so we're going to go up and hang out with Keith and uh, get ready to watch his runs. He's, uh, again, he's running the, like a, I forgot the name of the class, but it's like Rowdy Radio. So it's, uh, he's got to run a, a, a 235 or a eight and a half inch slick, and it's only 26 inches tall. So it's a really small tire. And he's got to run as close to 850 as possible without going over that. So. He ran uh, 852 twice yesterday, so I'm thinking it's going to be good. The air is really, really good this morning, so uh, I'm sure he's going to have to factor that in. I don't know how he uh, makes any adjustments, but uh, we're going we're gonna to watch him out. And, uh, we're going to check him out, and then we'll get ready to see uh, the Dakota and the Volvo run. So uh, when we get a chance, we'll talk about the Volvo as well, like we did with Keys Cars yesterday. It's just kind of crazy and loud right now, so I don't want to ask uh, Billy or Michael to talk about it until then. So uh, be patient with us and we'll get right to Keith's run here in just a second. Day one, he's probably not gonna make any more passes 
they just called us up to the lanes and uh, the line's not moving and we're not even to the lanes yet so uh, there's a lot of cars in uh, my run category uh, not necessarily in my class there's only I think 17 in my class uh, so uh, we'll see how that goes or I think it's gonna be a good time I've made some adjustments on the timing and my goal today is try to hit 12.52 12 on the dot. So I made a little bit of timing changes and I'm going to uh, uh, let the truck shift itself so it shifts a little early. And uh, we'll see if that puts us on the number. So wish me luck. And I think Billy's going to be in line here soon too and we'll, uh, we'll catch him as well. So um, here goes nothing. Too. I'm gonna go 
go show you all that real quick, but there's all kinds of people here. Going really, really well. And, uh, what's going on? Something wrong? Uh, here's a uh, light misfire under a uh, oh, lake. Huh. Like yeah, like sometimes it was doing it, sometimes oh, it wasn't. Was it? Oh, you know, know. you know your truck better than I do. I don't know if it's a plug wire. I'm kind of assuming it'd be a plug wire. Yeah. I don't know. Everything you got, you got really hot. stuff on it. Okay. Yeah. Everything gets so hot on it. Because of that turbo? Yeah. Yep. Anyway. Oh. It looks good, though, man. I, I haven't paid attention to all your brake lines and stuff. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We need to do the same thing, except not hydro boost. Yeah. Uh, on the Sonoma, there's something messed up with it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Plug wires. You know? The plugs specifically are no fun. Yeah. yeah, they don't look fun. They don't look fun on this side. No. Basically, have to get the one. You gotta take the wheel off. Anyway, I'll get y'all uh, Brandon's uh, YouTube channel so you can check all that out. Real quick, like note. I've never had He uh. He cut that intake down, intake down himself, fabbed it all up. One run versus a thousand It looks awesome. So, yeah, we're going to get back to it in just a minute. on the side of the road when the racers on the side of the road and you get a thumbs down that means that there's some issues and we just got a thumbs down and this poor Corvette here beautiful car uh, looks like it lost a slave cylinder so we're working on getting it hooked up to the Trollvo's trailer and we're gonna try to push it over there to Walgreens sucks but uh we'll, we'll get it taken care of let me try to run some uh, interference here so we can get him taken care of
pretty big job to fix on the brake. Just that one's out, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll fix it later. I don't know. That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear. I wish, just wish it was easy to fix, you know? Oh, you yeah. and me both. Trust me. You and me both. That stinks. So it's it's so much easier to put it on a lift, drop the bottom out of it. Yeah. Like that's two hours. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, there's that portable lift. lift. Yeah, I know. That's true. Yeah, you, you might call them if you're interested in fixing it. I mean, I'm you know. the guy that comes out to have fun and not suffer. There yep. you go. Yep. So I'd rather just get the trailer out here, load in the trailer, just follow the rest of the time. Fair I, enough. I hate to say it, but it's not too drag weeks. I was hoping to make this, but yeah. huh? it'll live to see another one. Yes, sir. Do you, do you all no, I'll get a power glide. Yeah, there you go. Ah, there you go. You'll get a power glide or a turbo. Well, we're in the hotel room. Uh, that was a good drive, no issues. Um, we got to help that guy with the C6. Um, but it's about midnight, and I'm about to start doing some editing on some videos. Quick notes. Tomorrow, for Orlando World Speedway, um, they've canceled bracing. Uh, so if you were planning on coming up, probably don't, because there's not going to be anybody there. Um, so we are not racing tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be driving to the track and then driving our routes uh, because of the rain. So it kind of sucks, um, but it is what it is. Now, here's the cool stuff. We just found out that Keith is first in his class at the moment. He has somebody that ran the exact same time as him, but Keith ran a little bit more mile an hour, so therefore uh, he's in first place um, for his limited uh 235 and um, he ran an 8550 with a 6 so he did fantastic and we hope that that continues on the rest of the week I ran with my class and I explained this before um, I'm running the uh, it's called the sick uh, bullseye challenge and what they do is they drew random numbers for every day and those numbers are what we were going to try to hit uh, in our ET. Um, the numbers are decimals, so you can run just about any number in front of it within like a couple seconds of our, like my truck. So my, my truck runs 12s, so I could run either a 13 or a 12. <clears throat> and you tried to match that second number, which is, uh, uh, today was 52. So my goal was to run 12.52. I ran 12.56. Um, on my first pass, I've just made some adjustments. It went really well. I think you guys saw that. Um, here's the deal. I got second place today. It's a daily uh, competition. It's not a week-long one. So, like on uh, what will be Wednesday now, before we race again, I'll we'll have another number to try to shoot for. So, that's so cool. Um, I didn't win. There's another guy that went. Uh, I went 12.56. I think he went 11.54. So, uh, you know, he got me by just a couple uh, hundreds there. And uh, when I tried to make a second pass, I just blew the tires off. So it was just a, an aborted pass. I don't even think I'm, I showed you in the video because it just, it wasn't worth showing. It's just me blowing the tires off. So Keith in first place, I won second place on Monday. Super, super neat. Uh, I'm having a great time and uh, I hope you guys are too. So uh, with that said, you know, I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I'm trying to get videos out every week. I'm going to try to get editing on this one soon so we can get up and I can go to sleep because we might actually get a little, uh, sleep in a little bit tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. Uh, thanks for coming along as always. And uh, until next time, you know the deal. Y'all be good. <laughs>